Championship UCLA Bruins team. We're joined by head coach Marguerite Awazaza. Very good. How about that? <laughs> Much better. Great improvement. Uh, along with student athletes Lauren Brisky, oh, Mary job. Carmen Reyes, and Raylan Turner. We will have coach with an opening statement followed by questions for the student athletes. Once they are finished, they will be able to go on and then we will have questions for coach. Uh, a reminder to Zoom if you have a question, please just raise your hand in the Zoom. Uh, we'll get to you in the order we receive them in the room. We'll take questions after Coach. Your opening statement. All right, wow. Um, first, as always, I know I speak for the whole team and the whole program when I say this experience, this entire week has been absolutely unforgettable. So we want to thank every single person who's been involved, from NCAA who hosted us to everyone here in Raleigh who's hosted us. You guys have done an incredible job. And we couldn't be more thankful for your hospitality and just the event in general. Also want to congratulate and thank North Carolina. Um, that's a program that I think anybody involved in college soccer has always looked up to. And um, I mean, if I do this for another 25 years with this record, I might catch Anson in terms <laughs> of his record. So he has set the standard in terms of what it means to be a winning program, to be kind of that Hallmark program, and we're all chasing that. So I just want to congratulate them on their incredible season. And then this game is just shocking. I mean, wow, the, the roller coaster of emotions I think we all felt. Um, I cried many times during that <laughs> game, happy and sad, I think. So um, that was incredible. And I can't say enough about the belief this team has and the care that they have for each other. We've said from the very beginning of these playoffs that our care for each other, our love for each other, and love for this program is what's going to carry us through. And I think you saw that tonight to be down 2-0 with 10 minutes left, to be down a goal with less than a minute left, and to come back and then not even go to PKs but win in overtime is something incredibly special. And it speaks to just the character of these three players and, of course, the entire team. So thank you, guys. Questions in the room. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Not at all, obviously. <laughs> no, never. I'm never tired. <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously, playing a 4 through 3 against a 3 5 2 is a little difficult in the midfield, having to basically play like a, a 1v3, sometimes 1v4. So it's just, it's a discipline piece, like Mark said. Just, I mean, we've, we've played against this formation a couple times, and it seemed to work. And, you know, unfortunately, we got scored on twice. But it's just that heart and that grit just to, to work for every single second of the game until that whistle is blown. And that's what is so different about this team is like we never, ever, ever give up for each other. So, yeah. No, I was asking, Ali is, Ali is uh, uh, coming if you hit it. Was it coming in if you didn't hit it? I don't know, but I wanted to make sure. <laughs> More questions for student athlete. Uh, Ryan, about just how far I was going to ask. Walk us through what you bring to see on that goal. It seems like there's a whole lot of bodies right there, cluster on the goal line. Um, I remember Mary <laughs> Mary looked a little sad and I was like, Mary, we are not done yet. Let's get this in. Open your eyes, get a head on it. You see me top of the box, right? As yeah. Lauren was in there. And she's when she said that I'm like Okay. okay. <laughs> I just with this team, you can never ever ever give up because we will always come back and we will have each other's back and work to the last second of the game and um, to answer your question, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I knew, I kept looking at the clock. I'm like, mm -hmm. give me the ball, play it in, play it in. And I knew we had numbers in the box and just doing anything I could just to 
be able to get something on it. And then I blinked, and then the ball was in the goal. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Barbara, uh, Mary Carmen, you said you came back for your fifth season for moments like this. When that fall in overtime, found the back in that, I guess, what kind of left your head? I honestly don't even know. It was just a And like you said, I stayed just for this to win. And this doesn't even feel real, to be honest. I mean, Lauren, too. It's crazy how we stay another year in grad program and boom. We accomplish this. More questions from the room in the back. Lauren, you at the last minute, like you mentioned, ran up and you were like, oh, I'm joining the attack right now, uh, which are some of the best photos I've probably ever taken. Yes. Kids. So thank you for that. But what was the mindset there? Because I know there's you could have been going to the PKs, you were running up anyways. What were you? What were you thinking? Um, yeah, we needed a tie in that moment. We weren't uh, in overtime yet, but um, yeah, I was like. I mean, this can't be my last 20 seconds of my college career. I mean, I'm just trying to do everything for this team and just, I mean, obviously when there's 20 seconds left to tie a game, goalkeeper's got to come up. But it was a crazy experience. And I just knew we were going to get something. And I just felt that I really did. So. Uh, we have a question from Zoom. I'm going to attempt to pronounce this. Mir Jam? It's your, your, there you go. Great. Hey, uh, Bruins, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Right on. Well, well, well done. Um, so I, I was out in September and I visited with, with a few of you guys, um, and, and I was impressed at like how um, upfront you were with, with the goal of winning a national title. Um, obviously, this is the number two for this program, and one twenty, I think, for UCLA. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, what does that mean to you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, last year's was a bit of a disappointment I guess um, ending our season so soon first game of uh, playoffs and I think just knowing that feeling and then watching everyone else's seasons play through just knowing that we want to be there and we want to feel what that feels like we just came in and, and our new coaching staff really kind of took over and brought this team together and taught us discipline teamwork hard work until the very last second and we were able to just get it done, and we knew that we had what it it took, and we just needed to find finally put the last pieces together, and we were able to do that. So it means it means the world. I'm still in shock. I'm sure we all are. Um, hasn't hit me yet. Maybe a little, but <laughs> not all the way. But I'm um, really, really, really proud of us. More questions from in the room. One more uh, for either of you two. When you guys went down 2-0, how long left? How did the mentality change on the team, and how did that lead to? Uh, I think the mentality, I mean, just going into a final, you don't go into a final to play, you go into win. And I think just having that and looking around and everyone having the same, you know, motivation, it just made it easier for us to keep attacking and create more chances to, to score. We have time for one more if anyone has one here in the room. All right, we're good, student athletes. You're Go celebrate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats, you guys. Congrats. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Ray, you don't need that, right? Oh, my God. She already forgot. It's okay. They have some time off. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, okay, we'll open the floor to questions for Coach. Front row. Can you... I know we asked you your players to do so, but can you take us through the, the goal the goal with 16 seconds left? And also, if you want to throw out uh, a name that this goal will be remembered by forever, that would be nice, too. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know. It's like the heart stopper or something. It, it was incredible. I couldn't even really see what was going on, to be honest. Um, but I said it or Actually, I don't think I even had the chance to say it at halftime. Maybe I did that we were going to score on set pieces. And it's funny or ironic that I think this year we gave up maybe, I don't know how many goals Liza would know more than me, but probably 60% of them plus for set pieces. And a few weeks ago, we really had to change our mentality about them. And we decided to try to be the aggressor to make sure that teams needed to be nervous when we had set pieces. 
and I told the team at halftime, like, we're going to get our chances, um, and we're going to score a set piece tonight. I didn't know it would be such a monumental set piece, um, but that one will go down in history. And like they alluded to, that goal just is so emblematic of what this team is about. And there was just no way that they were going to go down without a fight. And so we knew we just needed one chance. And thankfully we took it. And, you know, I do believe, too, that, that good things happen to good people. And this group, this group especially is just full of special, special people. Front row. In terms of like the first like 35 minutes and then the last like 35 minutes the second half, it's mm -hmm. like there was a pretty big shift between you know UFC's control and your mm -hmm. domination. You know, talking about a lot you know, in the first half and the second half started. What did you try to change in halftime, or was that just sort of? Like, no, I think that was more a, a because we went down two goals, <laughs> so we had to change something. Um, what was great is without any tactical adjustments, the, team mental the team's mentality shifted. So you could see as soon as that second goal happened, we were on the front foot. And we were actually going to change systems earlier, but there was like a solid five minutes after the second goal where we actually had a ton of momentum. And we're like, okay, let's, let's ride this out a little bit. And then we changed shapes. So we went into a more aggressive shape. We switched from 4-3-3 into a 3-4-3. Team, we have done this to them so many times, they probably hate, it, hate us for it. We've never worked on 3-4-3 three, three before. Um, we did that, yeah, when we played Duke, we had never worked on 3-5-2. When we played Virginia, we had never worked on 4-4-2 diamond. But then today, we had never worked on 3-4-3, three, three, and we went with it. Um, we often joke with our team that our staff likes to take risks. Because my the thing I hate is to go down 2-0 and not change anything. And so we went for it, we were the aggressor, and we needed every last second to make, to tie the game, but um, just really proud of the team and how they were just so determined. Another question from Zoom. Feel free to unmute, ask your question. Hey, Coach. Congratulations, Ms. Miriam again. Hi. Uh, hey, so what you're describing there reminds me of, you know, what you guys did the first time you came to North Carolina and you made a last second change and, and it worked out. Like, just why do you have so much trust in this group? Um, because they're super adaptable. One, and two, they have been bought in from day one. And the amount of trust that they gave our staff since the moment we stepped on campus is incredible. And that kind of trust is what allows us to make those changes. And every time we make changes, we say to them, we've made those changes because we trust you guys. We've made those changes because it's gonna fit who we have. And you know whether that's going straight matchups player for player or isolating certain players, we always try to do that, but we reassure them that the reason we're doing it is because they're able. And um, tonight they kind of did it again, where they just trusted us. They went all in, and I I don't think I will ever forget how determined they were tonight. Yeah, you mentioned crying, joy, happiness during the match. How many times in soccer have you been crying during the match? Oh, I'm a crier. I cry all the time. Yeah, I, yeah I'm not ashamed. Um, I cry when we get scored on sometimes. I cry when we score sometimes. I cry if someone does really something special. It's not a lot of tears, but just like a little welling of tears. Um, but tonight, after we scored that goal to tie, I think off myself and ball, all of us were bawling. I have not watched the broadcast, but I'm pretty sure they caught all of us sobbing. So um, that will also be a special moment. Um, but you could just see the emotion of it and how much that, that moment really meant to us and, and how much that moment changed the momentum of the game. I think going into overtime, our team was confident. Like, they felt so good. They, they were like, we're not going to PKs. Like, let's finish the darn thing. And um, yeah, but yeah, the tier count was off the charts tonight. <laughs> Thank you, congrats. Thank you. All right, time for a couple more. Front row. Yeah, Coach, so this is your first season as a head coach at your college level. When you first took the job in last winter, did you miss you sitting up here tonight? No, I did talk a big talk in my interview, but I wasn't <laughs> sure how that was going to go. <laughs> so just check it off the list. <laughs> um, I think the whole country knew what this team was capable of on paper. We've always been one of the better teams, and especially last year, like Ray alluded to, going out so early in the tournament was a huge disappointment because of the personnel. Um, so I knew that I stepping in would have the tools to have the tools to work with, um, but obviously I couldn't have predicted how everything was going to come together. So tonight was super special. I couldn't have written it better, um, and I'm just really grateful for the opportunity to coach this group. Back row. 
I call that a stressful win, but yes. <laughs> stressful win, yes. Um, but you are the first first year head coach to win a NCAA D1 championship. Um, so I guess if we just speak to that, I assume you might have been aware of that. Um, what that kind of means to you, especially uh, as a woman. Yeah. Um, I mean, I I wouldn't be sitting here today if I wasn't even if I wasn't given the opportunity. And this year, I think our whole staff has really embraced our um, kind of identity as as young coaches, as first time, as for me, as a first time head coach. Um, we kind of joke with our staff, like, who needs experience, you know? Um, but it is super meaningful. But it also is not lost on me that that it was an opportunity that is not often given, and so I'm super thankful for that. Um, and I think as a young female coach, this is even more meaningful. Um, we coached against some like monumental coaches this year, and we coached against coaches that I was recruited by many years ago. Um, and so to kind of test ourselves in that way was very challenging. It was intimidating at times, um, and I'm thankful for my staff for giving me the confidence to do that oftentimes, but um, kind of putting ourselves in that situation was very fun. Maybe we're I don't know why we enjoy that, but <laughs> it was it was really fun to challenge ourselves that way. Yeah, we, have, <laughs> we have time for one more. For uh, you have seniors like Lauren, Mary Carmen, Sunshine, Maddie, the list goes on and on. How important was it for you to send those seniors out on top after all they've given through the program? It, I can't even put it into words. Um, the players you named and a couple others, they have given so much to this program and. Every single one of them has a different story. A lot of them have faced a lot of adversity, whether it was playing time, whether it was injury, things just in their personal lives that have kind of defined their experience up till now. And so it was so fitting for them to be able to go out on top because I've said from the beginning that group of older players, those leaders, they were the ones that really led the charge in terms of the buy-in, um, the buy-in to our new staff. And really that buy-in, that trust, that belief in our staff and what we were trying to do is what carried us through everything, and, and they were the pioneers in that. So I am forever grateful for them, and I'm just so happy that they'll finish their careers here with, on such a high and a very memorable game, that is for sure, <laughs> um, but just something that they can be so proud of. Well, Coach, thank you for your time, and congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.